So, Joachim, to come back to, to something that you said in the introduction when you referred to this as a, a collaborative work with, with Nuno, um, as you say, it's, it's a shame that he, he can't be here, but um, I was wondering if you could say a bit about his, uh, his involvement in the process and how that evolved as the film took shape, because at the start of it, we hear you say that he was very reluctant to participate. Was there a, a turning point? Um, good evening. Uh, yes, I think there, there was a turning point. We were, uh, probably this, this is not clear in the film, but um, as, as you understand, we, we had stopped being involved in films for a while. We had decided uh, we have a small publishing company for uh, classical uh, authors from the classical to Baroque period, literature and music. And we had more or less decided that it was more important to maybe to uh, rediscover or make or give the possibility for people to discover old texts that are more or less forgotten than to do new things. And probably because so many things are being produced and uh, done every year and uh, we were, I would say, in a way disappointed with uh, what's happening in cinema nowadays. We uh, it, were quite unhappy about most of the things that we've seen, so we, we had, in a way, lost hope. Uh, and uh, when I came up with the idea of doing this film, Nunu was um, maybe um, not fully, he didn't really feel that it was uh, important to do, and I thought maybe there were other more basic things that were important. So I, I think the moment in the film where things changed was probably this scene when we were together with the dogs. And it's from that period on that he started being involved. Uh, I, I mean, like the, the first maybe 20 minutes of the film I was shooting basically all by myself. And then at the, from that moment on, uh, we started really working together and uh, for me, it's really difficult even to say which shot was done by me. There were periods during this treatment when, when I was uh, maybe um, not unconscious, but uh, when I was, uh, in a way, so much disturbed by, by these drugs that I don't even recall being uh, that there was a camera there. I mean, he was shooting and I, I can't remember. And uh, so in, in the end, it's, uh, it's a process uh, where we... Actually, I'm, I must always tell, uh, I must maybe tell you that after we finished shooting, it took me, I was still very much unable to, to start editing. So it took me like two or three months before we... Um, and uh, even the editing process, like putting everything in more or less in chronological order, which is more or less what you see here, because we didn't switch times. Uh, that was more of his work. He would uh, start working uh, like in the morning, and then he, he would come and call me and see, come on and see what uh, what we have there and what we're going to do with this. So, uh, but the, I must say, it's. Uh, uh, we should have signed the film. He didn't want to because he said it's it's your film, but actually it's our film, like it's our life. We, I, I couldn't say it's my life there. It's our life. It's not only Nuno. It's Nuno, the dogs, the, the people we meet, the people we met, the things that we worry about. I think I don't know. So, so when you first conceived of the film, when, when you first started shooting, did you know what you would end up with? To what extent was this a film that you discovered while you were editing? Um, not really. We had, I, I, I did, um, before we started the film, I did uh, more or less, uh, I wouldn't say a letter of intentions, but a, a synopsis or whatever with the points we would uh, like to cover during the, 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 the shooting. And uh, actually, if you, uh, Joanna, I suppose our producer is there somewhere. 
she's there, she, she knows about this process. So I think most of the things we, we wanted to speak about are actually in the film. Sometimes, uh, because it would be impossible to talk about everything in two hours or three hours, but I think most of the points are there. But actually, uh, uh, what happened uh, and what you see in the film was very much open to... We couldn't close it in the beginning. We, we had to be open. So in this way, a lot of things were discovered uh, in the editing. And uh, in the editing in the way that uh, we shot, but we actually didn't see and didn't go through uh, the, material, the material we shot. Uh, while uh, during the treatment, uh, actually we just understood what we had uh, after I finished this treatment and when we started looking at the sounds and the images. I don't know if this answers. Uh, we have to take questions. Are there any? Yep. Uh, thank you for an incredibly beautiful film. Really liked. Um, you during the film, you concentrate a lot on the natural order. It opens up with that that, that animal insect crawling very slowly. Then there's the butterfly, and then there's insects. There's that incredible intertwining of the natural order within the narrative. Could you speak about that? Um. Uh, I think so. I think I was looking at uh, the... Actually, t uh, today I, uh, I was uh, looking at the catalog. Uh, not the catalog, this... I don't know if you call it the catalog. This... Uh, um, um, no, catalog. Uh, folder. folder. That folder you have uh, uh, where you can look at uh, the films and the timetables, and you have all these pictures from films. And uh, actually, I was telling to Joanne, listen, it's only faces. It's just people. It's uh, just uh, faces. And actually, uh, um, there's not one single of these small squares with uh, frames from films that doesn't include a, a, a person, a face. And uh, I think that my vision of the world in a way changed because when I started, it, you probably you certainly don't know the first films I did, but uh, I would say that I, I was very much, uh, I wouldn't say influenced, but uh, now when I look back, I, I was probably very much uh, like other filmmakers I like, like for instance Pasolini, where even you, if you have a very wide shot, it's always around the human figure. And uh, one of the things that changed in my life, and I think this has to do with, with Nunu, and, and uh, with what we learn with each other, which, uh, with the things he shows me, and with the things I show him, is to understand that the world is not just us, we're just part of it. There's so much more. And uh, so this sort of attention to what's happening around us. I know, I don't know, maybe in a world which is uh, like if I lived in a, in a city where you just have uh, concrete and uh, houses and people, maybe I, I, I wouldn't have the same way of looking at things. So, uh, but I can't really separate. Uh, and uh, this sort of looking at the world is something I learned with uh, Nuno. So it's uh, something that happened in my life. I don't know if this answers. Yes? Going your dogs, I got the impression that in some sequences you were behind the camera and they were responding to you and the camera together, but then also there were clearly shots that were taken with the camera fixed and you in the frame. Did the dogs get to know the camera as an object that they were responding to or playing with or, or becoming part of a family with? Well, that's difficult to understand. I'm sorry they're not here because maybe they could answer better than me. But uh, I, I just can give you my my feeling on this. I can't really, I'm not in their heads, but I, I, 
I know that they love to be photographed. So if they understand what's happening or not, or how they feel it, I don't know. But I know that they really interact uh, uh, with the camera. And um, um, Joana knows about this. We have a Facebook uh, for the film. And like uh, one week ago, we, we decided to, to, to me and Nuno, we thought, let's choose some pictures from uh, when we lived in the Azores, where you see the dogs since they were, basically, since the day I met Rufus, uh, when he was like this size. And uh, we, we just put this, uh, all these pictures in, in Facebook. And I was going through these pictures, and, uh, and actually I had the feeling that, uh, in a way, with time, they, they, I think there's a dog TV now, no? There's a, a, a channel for dogs, no? Yes, yes. Probably, yes, I don't know. Yes. But uh, I know that they like some films and that uh, some other films they don't like. And I have a friend, actually, because I'm, uh, this, is, this has nothing to do with this film, but uh, since I'm, I'm related to sound, I have a friend in Japan who um, designs very, very high quality loudspeakers. And uh, uh, we were exchanging emails about uh, a design he just did, which is really brilliant. And he told me, um, uh, my uh, the definitive test for my designs is my dog, because uh, uh, he's the one who, who can tell me if I'm going in the right direction or in, in the wrong direction. So he, he, uh, his dog actually, uh, <laughs> so. Uh, Maybe I'm being very... Maybe I'm not answering your question. <laughs> um, it's such a beautiful film. And bringing the human being into, a, into disease and statistics and all that that we read about, I can't thank you enough for, for making it so personal and, and touching. But I, I do want to ask you about when you decided to put sex in the film and how, I mean, I thought, it, I was so happy when I saw that, that sex and love scene, but that uh, you took a long time for to get to that, to that place. Um, so could you talk a little bit about that? Also about Amanda Lear, closes your film. <laughs> well, about, about the sex scene, I, I, actually we did something funny in this film, because be, be, even, at a certain point, we, uh, uh, well, the first thing, I, I don't know, I, I find it so strange that people, uh, for instance, when, when we're at home, no, no, in summer, normally he, he walks naked in the house, he never wears pajamas when he goes to bed, and uh, that this is a big part of our life, so uh, if we're uh, more or less uh, exposing our life and uh, film is about exposure, about light, why should we uh, uh, show some things and not show other things? So for us it was not really, uh, but uh, it came maybe late in the film because uh, the, the idea to do it was there from the beginning, but actually uh, uh, we thought at a certain point this is the time to do it, not, not, not to do not to do it, but to, to, to do it with, a, with putting the camera somewhere. And um, I think, I mean, it's, uh, you might think it, about it as uh, wireism or something, but I think it's much more obscene, these scenes when you simulate things and when you show things uh, up to here or, uh, and then you hide something. I, I always thought it was, uh, that was really, really strange because, uh, uh, in other films I've seen, I, 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 it always b better not do anything. <coughs> and uh, when I look at it uh, now, it reminds me of a scene which is, uh, I, I think, one of the most beautiful, I, I wouldn't say sex scenes, but erot maybe erotic scenes I've seen in film, which is, uh, maybe some of you older uh, remember, uh, there's this scene in uh, Weekend from Godard, when Mireille d'Arc is telling about her uh, encounter the night before to her husband, and it's short in 
in uh, uh, there's no uh, no it's completely against the light that comes from the window and maybe uh, I don't know if in a way this gave us gave us gave us the idea to shoot it this way maybe not I don't know but now that I see it uh, I, I connect it with uh, with that scene uh, but I think the film would not be I I wouldn't say complete because I know that I don't know if the film is complete. But if we if we would have taken this out of the film, uh, uh, we would be in a way uh, not lying, but uh, uh, I don't know the word. I mean, we, I, I try to be as as uh, how do you say as direct as possible. I started the film telling everybody that uh, we live together for a long time, that we're married, this and that, and then uh, just taking this away of the, of the film would be uh, like the, the, trying to make it something else. And uh, so we thought it made sense. But to follow up on that... And, uh, let me just tell you something. We did something just for fun, uh, which is... Uh, you, you know this scene when I'm talking about, uh, you maybe remember that at a certain point when I'm taking these uh, uh, opioids and when I'm a bit 